Hi YouTube, it's uh, in Amga 4 with the iPhone 4S. Um, what I'm going to do is quickly show you how to uh, set a custom uh, ringtone um, for this device. Um, by that I mean, say if, uh, I've bought an MP3 track from uh, Amazon um, and I want to set it as a, a ringtone for this device. Apple out of the box on this device don't allow you to do that. Um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll quickly show you. So if you go to settings and then from settings if you go to sounds from sounds if you go to ringtone Apple only allow you to select certain ringtones which are preloaded onto this device um, and you can see those as they are if you want some more of these ringtones you have to go through iTunes and buy more tones from Apple but I'm of the thinking I've already paid for this track that I bought through Amazon so why should I pay again to get the same track through Apple's music store to get it onto this device as a ringtone so I'm going to show you how to um, convert a track that you've bought from elsewhere um, in mp3 format convert it to a format that the iPhone can understand and then play as a ringtone um, so in order for me to do this what I need to do is just move over to uh, my, my computer and I'll show you how to do this on iTunes okay now that we've moved over onto our PC I just want to load up iTunes first of all to get started Okay, just to make sure we're all running off the same page here, I'm just going to show you what version of iTunes I'm running. Um, now that that's synced up with my phone, brilliant. So click on help about iTunes, and there you go, it says iTunes 10, version 10.5.1.42. That's the version I'm running, just make sure it's up to date. It's always good to be up to date. So what we do is pick the track that we want to make as a ringtone. Um, I'm just going to drag and drop a track that I've bought through Amazon. Uh, this particular one's called Look At Me Now by Chris Brown. Um, so what we want to do to first of all is right click on it, go to Get Info, click on the Options tab. And now Apple only allow the ringtone on the iPhone to be a maximum of 30 seconds. So we want to cut this down from 3 minutes 42 to 30 seconds. And uh, Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to put 28 seconds. We click OK. It looks as if it hasn't done anything. All we do is we then click right click on it again and then we do create AAC version okay so we click on that it creates a copy of the track down to the 28 seconds that we specified as you can see there so now we want what we want to do is right click on that and then show in Windows Explorer okay so that gives you the track in Windows Explorer now I'm just going to minimize iTunes what we're going to do is also, I'm just going to move it to the desktop, just to make simplify things a little bit. Okay, so that's there. Now you need to take this step as well. Load back up uh, iTunes, delete <coughs> both instances. Well, I'm, I don't need the track as a normal music track, so I'm just <coughs> going to delete it. Normally, you can just get away with deleting the 30 seconds one that we just created, but deleting it you're not actually deleting it off your machine you're just deleting it off the library I just like to point out so we minimize that go back to um, the desktop and you can see the file that we've got there called look at me now featuring Lil Wayne dot m4a is a file, file extension we want to change the file extension to m4r for ringtone it has to be m4r um, so we just right click rename and then change it to R. I'll say hit enter if you change the file extension the file might become unusable we're aware of that we click yes there we go now just while I'm here if you can't see the dot m4r or uh, m4a as it was before um, every file on the machine has a file extension so if you like in for example um, on there you can see it's dot d doc x if you can't see this on any files then what you need to do is just load up so Windows Explorer or go to my computer for example I'll show you from my computer that might be a little bit easier just uh, and all you do I'm running Windows 7 so all you do is click on organize fold and search options go to the view tab and then scroll down to where it says hide extensions for known file types make sure there's no tick in there click OK and then it will show file extensions that's what anything after the dock dot is it's a file extension so go back to the track itself 
make sure it's dot m4r as we've just done now to import it back into itunes um, as this ringtone track all we do is bang 28 seconds and it's done okay so once that's created there all you need to do is sync up with your phone and then it'll put it under the ringtone section if you sync up uh, with your phone manual sync up file sync phone job done if for some reason it doesn't appear under ringtones on your phone then what I'll suggest because quite a few people have this is when you're in iTunes if you go down to the device itself expand it and then click on tones if you get nothing there like we just have that means it's not going to go across to the phone if you sync it so what we do is we go up to the library again see, see where it says tones we click on that and it appears there but not under the phone so all we do just again drag and drop click it drag it onto the phone side and let it go and it said copying at the top there so now when we go to the phones and then go to tones you can see it there and it's at 30 28 seconds again once it appears under the tone section of your device just file sync phone and it says it's, uh, it's done and that's it we can close down iTunes because it's synced up now I'll just show you by moving back over to the phone what you get that side moving back over to the phone after we've just synced up through iTunes on the PC um, what we want to do is I just want to see if the tracks available under under ringtones so what we'll do is if we scroll through and go to settings and then sounds and then ringtone we should see it in the list brilliant if you scroll to the top you can see now look at me now featuring Lil Wayne uh, so what I'm going to do if I just turn the volume up brilliant and then tap it okay so that's done now just to make sure it does fully work what I'm gonna do is just ring the phone um, from my other phone should I say um, and just make sure it is working as a ringtone so should hear it go off in a second or two and just wait for that to go through and it is dialing So that's how you set a or you convert a MP3 track to a, an M4R format so that it works as a ringtone on uh, the Apple iPhone 4S. Um, I really think this should have been done as standard. Apple, you disappointed me. Um, phones 10 years ago could set uh, MP3s as ringtones so you, you shouldn't have to go through all this faffing around to do this but for the people who want to set a custom ringtone from an mp3 track that's how you do it uh, any comments people comment below uh, please click on the subscribe button above check out some of the more forthcoming videos um, thanks for watching have a good evening and goodbye